Welcome to 9.0. This is Sanket and today we will be having a look at how I set my camera to shoot for day and night scenarios. Let's jump straight into action. Let's have a tour of the interface. So uh, it's broken down into these simple components. This is the battery. It's pretty obvious. This is the settings button. This is the mode button wherein you can switch between video, photo and the rest of the stuff. This is the playback. A playback button so when you stop, when you have stopped recording this is where you can check what you have recorded it can be a video it can be photo this here is the video indicator icon it is white as of now but if it starts recording it will start flashing red this is the time that is dive further uh, into how I set it for recording video during daytime. I normally use my action camera on my helmet uh, while I'm riding my motorcycle. So let's have a look at how this works. So how I set it up. Okay. So let me show you around. Uh, I normally record at 1080p 60fps. Let's jump into the settings. the sample recording at the end of the video uh, to see how the footage looks when it's recorded at 1080p 60fps let's jump back field of view is wide uh, you can set between wide medium and narrow get to capture a lot of detail the metering mode i always keep it at center auto low light is always kept at on Video quality is always set as high but you can switch between high, medium, low. You want the best video footage possible so always keep it at high. White balance, uh, this is WB stands for white balance. I set it at daylight while I'm riding in the day. And uh, if it's a cloudy atmosphere, I set it at cloudy. And while I'm riding at night, I would set it at auto. So I'll come. We'll come to night settings later. Let's just now stay focused on how I record during the daytime. Color, uh, I set it as E color. There is a flat color profile as well. Uh, I'm not that experienced with color grading, so I always keep it at E color, and the video record turns out to be really beautiful. ISO, I keep it at 400. Uh, during the daytime and i keep it at 1600 at night time sharpness i keep it at low there is low medium high i always tend to keep it at low i don't want artificial sharpening you can always sharpen the video while editing so it's best i, I tend to keep it at low that's what works good for me uh, ev stands for exposure value i always keep it at zero I don't like to play around with I don't I don't play around with the exposure value much. Uh, keeping it at zero works good for me. Electronic image stabilization is really fantastic. While you are riding a bike, there are a lot of bumps on the road and your camera shakes while recording. So you want to smoothen
do that fisheye effect and it does not look like you have recorded off an action camera so that's that Wi-Fi is for controlling the camera using the e action app uh, we'll get to that in a later video SD card is for knowing how much storage is left uh, right now I have a 64 GB card and as of now you can see the storage is at 28.9 gigabytes later it is the video mode photo mode that i talked about bluetooth pairing is basically for the bluetooth remote control that comes with the selfie stick let me fetch my selfie stick uh, you can use this mode dial button on the top to switch between photo and video and you can press this button to capture a photo or start stop video recording we'll get into this later as of now uh, we are looking at the brightness setting this is the brightness setting for the ui the beeps are basically set at low uh, this is the low beep that you know these are the beeps basically that you get while you are switching between various modes the video mute is basically uh, while you are recording video of the action camera you want to mute the audio that is getting recorded i love to capture the background audio the vehicle noise the traffic noise that is while i'm riding my bike led uh, basically there is a led on the top here and there is a led in the front of the camera uh, this uh, all on will like keep the LED on the top flashing while you are recording uh, the video and as well as on the front in housing mode I always keep it as off video standard I have always kept it as NTSC in the advanced setting I keep screen auto lock that at 60 seconds you can keep it at a higher value so it is basically while you are not touching the interface at what interval you want to lock the camera so I keep it at 60 uh, auto power off never I do not want my camera to auto power off uh, as you might lose a precious moment while it while it is recording so I leave it at never video rotation is off in case if you want to use the camera in portrait or landscape mode AV out I keep it at off set date time is to set the date and time and this is a tutorial that's all uh, for the recording options uh, during day the only thing that I change for night time is I have always kept auto low light at on white balance I change to auto at night and the second value that I play around with is the ISO I switch to 1600 that's my setting for day and night recording before i close let me show you the various you and photo time lapse photo and live recording so we'll have a look at various modes at a later time as of now all i wanted to share was my settings for day and night recording after you have recorded your video you would like to have a short preview of the video so this is where you can check the check and playback your video so you can like scroll through the previous video
4K Ultra HD footage and Full HD video. The reason you need a SanDisk Extreme Pro is while recording 4K, it is writing to your memory card at very high speeds. Uh, so you need that sort of a memory card which can capture all that footage in high quality. As in, write it to the memory card at that high speed. So that is why you need something like a SanDisk Extreme Pro. Okay, so after having a look at how to configure the camera, here is how the video turned out to be for day and night. I will let you have a look at it. Also, I have not applied any filters or color corrections to the video. This is straight off the camera. Have a go at it. That's it for now, hit the like button if you liked the video or dislike it if you did not enjoy it. Thank you and take care my dear friends, catch you in the next one, bye bye.